What's going on guys? Joe with OMGRC.com. So we got this from Banggood. I'll put the links down in the description below. These are affiliate links. Anyhow, to Banggood. Anyway, this is the XLF X03. I'm gonna run this thing. It's just bone stock. The only thing I did to it was just put oil into the shocks. Shock oil. Anyway, um, yeah, got a little GPS in here also. So this is the Sky RC GPS. So anyway, go ahead and let's get this thing going here. Uh, see how fast it goes. Bone stock, first run. All right, as you can see, you got it on peak speed. Got signal from the satellite, so, and I got it in miles per hour. So I'll probably calculate it to kilometers for you guys, just in case some of you guys only go by kilometers. All right, so here we go, first run. GPS is in, see how it does. Okay, so far, eh, not very fast. It's full throttle all the way. It's been full throttle, it's still full throttle on here. Um, so 37 miles an hour, yeah, I don't think so. <laughs> or the 60 kilometers. You can see this thing's not zipping along and I've been full throttle the whole entire time with a fully charged battery in it. So this thing's running. So let's bring it in, see how fast this thing or how slow it goes. Seventeen miles an hour, wow. Um that's disappointing, big time. All right, 17 miles an hour on a brushless motor. 2S LiPo, there you go. You seen it first, 17 miles an hour. It's freaking pathetic. All right. All right, guys, let me give you my thoughts on this thing. Um, pros and cons. Pros, it looks cool. I like the way it looks, but cons. It doesn't even do half the speed it's claiming to do. It says it'll do 60 kilometers, or we'll call it 37 miles an hour, and it only did 17 miles an hour. Uh, price tag, somewhere right around under 120 bucks. It's pretty um, stiff, the wheel on here, so it's not really easy. To uh, steer it, I mean, it just has more resistance than a typical radio. That's easy just to kind of turn back and forth. That, that's it. That's not really too much of a con, but it's just to to note. Um, shocks, they do leak. Maybe if I put some thicker shock oil in it, maybe they wouldn't leak as quick. But they did leak on every single one of them from the bottom. So just kind of let you guys know on that one. I know it had rubber seal on the uh, rubber seals on the top of it, and that was about it. So I didn't check the bottom right down here to see if uh, it had rubber seals on it or not. So just kind of FYI on that it one. I have some people say that the uh, gears on here are, you gotta keep an eye on them, or go ahead and you need to grease up the differentials. So you do the, like the front and rear. Uh, you know, I didn't do that one. But anyway, um, I really don't give it really any recommendations to buy it just because of the fact if you're looking for speed, this is not gonna be the ticket for you at all. And, um, but if you like this kind of the style of it and you're okay with uh, some of the quirkiness of it, then maybe so, I don't know. But anyway, uh, I'll leave that up to you guys to make your decision on it. And uh, appreciate you guys watching as always. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Check us out at omgrc.com. Till next time, you guys take care. Thank you again for watching. Peace.